Okay, in the last video, we were talking about the supremum of a, of, of a bounded above set and we will now talk about infimum, infimum of a bounded below set, bounded below set. Let's call this arbitrary set as A. Okay, so a number, a number U is it said to be a, uh, an infimum of a bounded below set u such that such that it satisfies two properties so what are those two properties it satisfies the property that u is less than or equal to a for all a belonging to this set a okay so that means that it's going to be a lower bound right because it's lower than each and every element of this set A, okay? Number two that it needs to satisfy is that U should be greater than or equal to V for any other lower bound V, okay? So it needs to be greater than or equal to any other lower bound. So what does these, these two things say so this says that it needs to be greater okay greater than any other lower bound so this actually says that this number u or this element u is the greatest the greatest lower bound lower bound of any set okay so we were talking about 5 to 8 interval okay open 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 set 5 to 8 okay now it has a lot of lower bounds all lower bounds like 4 3 2 and so on and so forth right we asserted that 4 is is a lower bound 5 is also a lower bound and 5 is greater than or equal to 4 in fact 5 is the infimum 5 is the infimum of this set open set okay now so certain remarks as we had for supremum as well let me just uh, what we should notice from here is that of course number one we denote infimum as denoted as inf a infimum of, of a set a okay number two it represents, represents the greatest, greatest lower bound. It represents the greatest lower bound. Number three, it is unique. Again, the same property. It is unique. And number four, it is can either belong to the set belong to the set or maybe not or maybe not now why am i saying that see here also we have taken as an example an open interval so five does not belong to the open interval 5 to 8. Why? Because it's an open interval. So, endpoints are not included, right? But it is the infimum. It is the infimum, okay? It is the infimum of this set. Now, uniqueness can be proved the same way. So, we, what we can suppose is, let me just try to prove that. What we can suppose is, suppose, suppose we have 2, two infimums okay two infimums so say u and v both are infimum okay so inf a equals to u and inf a also equals to v so by definition for u what we have we have that u is a lower bound is a lower bound this u is greater than or equal to v for any other 
low bound V. Okay, and we know that V is a lower bound. Now, similarly for V, we have the same thing. We have the same thing that V is a lower bound and V is greater than or equal to U, which is some other lower bound. So, this and this will give us that U has to be equal to V. Okay, U has to be equal to V. That means the infimum also needs to be unique for any set. So, remember you can have a lot of lower bounds, but the infimum is unique. Remember that you can have a lot of upper bounds, but supremum is unique. And honestly, I also want to add another point to it. So, when we are talking about bounded sets, just think about it. Bounded sets. Uh, what do we exactly, you know, intuitively mean by this? We actually mean that if we have a bounded set, it has a lower bound as well as an upper bound. Okay, as well as an upper bound. Now, the meaning of this is that the diameter of this set would be finite. So, this is a set with finite diameter. Okay. And in, in, in when we are talking about unbounded set, we are talking about it does not have a finite diameter. We are talking about something that moves on to infinity. So when we are talking about any bounded set, what we are talking about is that we have a finite finite diameter, diameter in the sense you can also look at, uh, you know, a real line probably. We know that it starts from here, ends from here. It has some finite, some finite number here, some finite number here. But in case it moves on to infinity, even on one end, that would mean that it's not bounded properly. 